Hey there. Ah, good to see you again. So, the current situation. The relay has been modified to reach this far, but it's taking an awful lot of power. Even with the reactor online, it takes a while to build up enough juice to activate the relay. But we should be ready to go. Just waiting on your order, sir. It's time. We need to move on Acadia now. Right. We'll get the relay fired up then. Right? You know your jobs. I want a thorough sweep. Don't leave anything to chance. I'll come in once the all clear is given. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. <clears throat> We've improved security and bioscience. Now nobody can lock us out. Let's just focus on the task at hand.
it would appear my target has disappeared. Gone. Hmm. Stealth capabilities fascinating. wraps things up, doesn't it? They should be ready to receive this bunch back at the Institute. It looks like they can be salvaged, thankfully. Odds are, most of them will be back at work before you know it. With no recollection of any of this nasty business. Couldn't have done this without you. Great work, really. Dima is some sort of prototype. What's gonna happen to him? Hmm, well, that'll be up to someone else. But I'd guess it'll be taken apart and looked over. See if we can find the initial malfunction. I hope someone's gonna look into why these synths malfunctioned. I'm sure the SRB will do a thorough analysis. Incidents like this don't reflect well on anyone. You know what I mean? I'll be heading back now. Guess I'll see you around. Institute, this is Dr. Mosley. We've got things wrapped up here. Commence relay back home.
Free file identification, 0J-2NN8. Converted to audio transcription. Memory file identification, 0J-2NN8. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I'm offloading this memory. I cannot bear lying to Confessor Martin and his children of Adam any longer. Better to just forget. I found it. The location of the launch key to fire the nuclear missile inside the submarine. Confessor Martin believes it can bring his people into division. Destruction at the hands of an atomic blast. He struggles with how literal his interpretation of that precept should be. I can't risk him deciding to find the key and use it. His people were the first to accept me for what I am. The thought of them being gone fills me with nothing but pain. Additional data appended. Location, the Harbor Grand Hotel safe room. Key code, 485130. Memory file identification, 0H-3X0P, converted to audio transcription, beginning playback. I've made a contingency plan in case Far Harbor discovers the truth, or gives in to their xenophobia despite all my efforts. I've isolated the wind turbine powering Far Harbor's fog condensers. A kill switch command will leave them defenseless from the fog and its creatures. But now that it's done, am I really capable of this? This massacre that I've engineered? I'm going to remove the command code from my memories. I'll bury a hard copy if I need to use it. But I can't keep it close to me. It makes me sick. Additional location data appended. Coordinates to the kill switch command code and the wind farm maintenance building. Memory file identification, 0Z-7A4K, converted to audio transcription, beginning playback. Get away from me! What the hell are you? It's me. We escaped the Institute together. You're my brother. I don't have a brother. The name's Nick Valentine. And no one in my family tree is a plastic skin freak. You're just confused. Let me help. Stay away from me! I don't want to hurt you! I discovered a curious record inside the pre-war data files of this submarine base. The Marines here were equipped with an advanced model of combat armor. There are several suits already in the base, in various states of deterioration. But there were more shipments of the armor on its way to the base, the day the bombs fell. They could be in prime condition if the sealants have held. I have no use for them, but you never know. Maybe they'll be worth digging up one day. Additional data appended. Armor shipments tracking information. Coordinates downloaded. You brought my little girl home safely. Thank you again. Mr. Nakano. You gave me my family back. 
I will never forget this. Thank you so much. Kasumi is home, and I'll make sure Kenji gives her some space to breathe. Mrs. Nakano. I was ready to let Kasumi go and lead her own life, but I'm still glad she's home. Thank you... for everything. We're a family again. This is how it should be. Hey, Kasumi. I never realized before what I put Kenji and Rei through. How much they've lost. Nice work bringing that rogue synth back. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Pigs and Moken are lucky to be alive. Not everyone would have handled that situation as well as you did. Reporting status. All function. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. I wanted to compliment you on your handling of the situation in bioscience. Bravo. You showed a lot of leniency with Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken.
should get in some more target practice. You've done it, sir. You've crippled our enemies and secured a better future for mankind. at full capacity. So many projects, so little time. Hey there. To think I'd be above ground, suffering, I'm much better off here. This feels like the dawn of a new era. All maintenance requests should be directed to the facilities division. I trust we won't be seeing the Brotherhood of Steel again anytime soon. Unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Greetings, sir. I wasn't expecting you to let us live. That surprised me. We've improved security in bioscience. Now nobody can lock us out.
Good to see you. The future looks very bright indeed, Director. Excuse me. As the Institute's first personal synth, I try to set a good example. What's a personal synth? Dr. Binet is carrying out a social experiment. He wants to see if a synth can integrate into a human family. I know I can never replace his wife or be a real mother to Liam, but I can at least help with the domestic duties. I like to think I'm a pretty good cook. It was a real pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you're still taking everything in, so I'll let you get back to that. Your presence here is a great gift, not just to Father, but to all of us. I heard there was some crazy stuff going down at that old lunatic asylum up north. Thanks again for closing out the Nakano case. You never know where some of the hard ones are going to take you. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor. Aw, oh, come on, Nick. Think of the good times. What, when he quit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the one I'm thinking of.
across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Hey, do something for you? Nick. Something up? Your thoughts? Always another case to close. Nothing else for now. Sure, sure. Ms. Perkins. If you see him, tell Marty I say, Hey, where's my 20 caps, you old lech? Also, hi. Liberty turns slaughterhouse. What? Who's there? Someone there? Huh? What's that, huh? What's that? Hey, you still there? Can't see a damn thing. Must have been nothing. Our oh, ears play tricks on me again. Come on! Alan, what is it? Anything useful? Out there, somewhere. Stupid noises. I hear something for you. You are no good. I Stupid man!
guess Marty never quite made it. Don't worry, pal. We'll close this one out for you. I'll wear your stuff around my neck! You coward! Gotta come out sooner or later!
Sam Drown had himself buried with all his treasure. Guess some people just can't let go. Hey. I'll uh, see what I can do. What do you need? Your thoughts? I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. That's all. Suit yourself. <laughs> 